Hi friends, it's Tammy in my world in OKC and I am here to share a craft project with you. I bought these little magnetic tins like this at the Dollar Tree. You get two of the small ones in a pack or you get one big one. And I use my Aileen's Tacky Glue and glued a little on the inside and put some of that fake snow from the Dollar Tree in there and let it dry. And then on this one, I put one of the little figurines of a Santa. And then the little tree is actually a one of the little trees from the Dollar Tree off of these little trucks. And then the Santa was the figurines, and I glued the tree to, it was like a little Christmas tree there, but I glued it to there so it had more of a, like a, you know, a real tree in there. And then it's an ornament, and it hangs from your tree. And then the big one, it's the same way. I did actually used a sticker in the background and with a big bow from the Dollar Tree and then did a little figurine in there as well. Hopefully you guys can see that's not glaring too much. And this is also an ornament for your tree. So I thought we would come on and I did ribbon around the outside. and But if you don't like the ribbon, you can always not have the ribbon and stick it to your refrigerator or whatever you like. And I did the ribbon two different ways. Uh, this is just to show if you want to be able to take it off, I would glue it to the back. If you want it just to be able to leave just for an ornament, I did mine with a loop on top. I actually like this better because I feel like it holds it a little more straight up and down. But even if it's on your tree, you're going to be able to straighten it up because of the branch, you know, the branches on your tree. But I think they're so cute and adorable and I just love them. So I thought I'd come on and uh, make one with you guys. And here's the container. I've already um, put the snow in, glued the snow. And then I wanted to use this little boy. He's actually looks like he is shoveling snow. But I thought if I put the tree there, it might look like he was chopping down the, Chris the little Christmas tree. So I'm actually going to cut this a little shorter. And I'm going to hot glue it on that little bucket or stump or whatever that is. And give this a second to dry. Sorry, just trying to give this a second to, to dry. And then this is going to fit right in there like that. Okay, and on the bottom, tons of glue is the key. It doesn't quite set flat on the bottom because it's curved, so all that extra glue helps to make sure you're reaching the sides. Get these glue strings out of there. I'm actually going to put a little more glue in there. I don't think I got enough, believe it or not. There we go. Oh, I just burnt my arm on the glue gun trying to straighten up. Ow. <sighs> okay, I think that's better. I'm going to hold now. Yeah, okay. Get rid of the glue strings. Ugh, the glue strings. And what I did is I put a small bead of hot glue on the inside just to seal it shut. Just go around ever so quickly. And just push that on. And I like how some of the snow sticks to the plastic. 
because it looks like a like a um, snow globe or something almost. And then you can put whatever ribbon you would like around the outside. I've been using this. So I'm just going to continue using it. And if you want to do a loop, like the first loop I did on here, like here's this loop. You know how that is. That's just, you know, you just put it together. I put a little staple, glued it to the back, and that was that. Now this one... Actually, glued it on and made a loop. Now, first thing I did is stapled it with my little stapler so it would stay in place for me. And then opened it up, the end. And now I'm going to put a little hot glue on there and then glue it to my container. So find your middle. And you're just going to glue it on there. And I want to make sure it's straight and it doesn't matter if there's like a little if it's messed up you know like this one's a little crooked it's not going to matter because I'm going to go around the whole thing this is a piece I didn't use so I'm just going to reuse it just because I don't want to waste it and on this I will actually cut you know fairly clean edges and then you're going to hot glue from the top here all the way around to the other side so Let's do that. And I have found that if you just do a little bit at a time, the glue holds a lot better. And just keep working your way around. Me and this glue gun are going to have a fight. Did I say the glue gun doesn't like me? <laughs> and then find out where your end's going to be when you start getting close. Because you're going to need to give it a little haircut. I'd rather have it a little long than a little short and not have enough. And then it's actually still just a hair long. So. Better. And then the last little strip of some glue there. And see it covered up where it wasn't so straight. Oh, I pulled a string. And there you go. I pulled a little string and it made it pucker just a little bit right there. I'm so disappointed. It's like, ah, but it is okay. Oh, well. It's still cute. I still love it. And then there is your little Christmas ornament. I think it is so adorable. Okay, that's bugging me, so it's got to go.
easier said than done, right? There. Okay. I just felt like you could see it from the front, so I didn't like that. So there is your little ornament. It's adorable. I think they're so cute. So I hope you guys make some of these. Um, let me know if you do. I thought it was really cute. I just happened to be going through the Dollar Tree and saw these little containers. And I was just like, you know what? How cute would they be with a scene? Kind of like the boxes. Um, but a smaller scale. So super cute. I'm so happy with these. And I hope you guys make some too. So let me know if you try it and link me to the video so I can see what you've made. I'd appreciate it because I'd love to see what you guys make as well. And I hope you enjoyed. So please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Bye, my friends.